Hello there, morons. It's Victor. Give me a break, man. King of the morons. Walking around beautiful Nagoya at night on a rainy day. I love, I love the way the, the light reflects off the rain at night. And I'll take you into the park a little bit. But today I'll be answering a few of your questions. I prepared them on my iPhone a little bit there. Oh, look at that. Yes, the park is very empty at night. Uh, the first question comes from a man named Jeffrey who will be moving to Japan. He's about 35 years old and he has a few simple questions. The first one is regarding the transportation system here, whether it's English friendly, and it is, it's very English friendly. You really don't need, in any decent sized city, uh, and actually almost anywhere, there are signs in English. So it's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, you'll be fine. Now, if you get out into the country, there are places where yeah, it's a lot more difficult and you'll need signs and you'll need to ask people for direction. Oh shit, is it raining? Fuck. <laughs> I don't know if I should take out my umbrella. Okay, we're fine. Uh, yeah, so yeah, if you get, in, get out in the country, it might be a little more difficult, but generally speaking, English is fine. You know, you don't need, you don't need, uh, you don't really, you don't need to speak Japanese. Okay, fine. Uh, now, if you do plan to do a lot of traveling into the country and stuff, I would recommend at the very least get a compass and a smartphone would be nice. There's Wi-Fi available depending on where you are. I think a lot of 7-Elevens and McDonald's have Wi-Fi, Starbucks as well. That's becoming more and more common. Of course, if you're just wandering around the city though, in the country or wandering around the country, it's gonna be much, much more difficult. But not impossible. Uh, you can also purchase a Wi-Fi, which I highly recommend. When you get to the airport, if you're just traveling, or if you're just moving here, you can uh, get a Wi-Fi from the very beginning. I'm not sure of all the, the information on, on that. You'll have to look that up somewhere, but you can get Wi-Fis at the airport from what I hear. That's number one. Number two, uh, about Japanese immersion. He asks, what do, you, do I recommend any Japanese immersion programs? I know I don't, I don't really know about them. You're, I mean, you're here. You're immersed. <laughs> uh, if you're living in a, if you're, if you're moving here, I'm assuming you're moving here, right? Then I would say what you should do is get out as much as possible. Find a little izakaya if you if you like to drink or eat outside. You don't have to drink alcohol a lot, but find a little local izakaya and start visiting it, visiting it once or twice a week and making acquaintances so you can start using Japanese. That's what I did. I didn't necessarily do it to learn Japanese or improve my Japanese, but um, it does have that effect. Now, a lot of people tell you, just get a Japanese girlfriend. Well, that's fine too, but I, I've, I've said in the past that uh, giving your girlfriend the stress of teaching you Japanese is, doesn't, it's, not, it's not great. I mean, yeah, you can get a lot out of it, but if you're really serious, then practice with her a little bit, don't, but don't put the, the majority of the, the pressure on her. What I would do is uh, find yourself a proper teacher and just practice with other people and ask her questions once in a while. But I remember when I first came here, I, my, my girlfriend wanted a part-time job. She just gotten out of high school. And uh, I said, well, why don't I just pay you to teach me? I'm gonna teach, pay, pay a teacher anyway. And we did that. Ended up crying at Denny's, you know, we'd go to Denny's and study. Because if you know we stay in the room, we're not going to get serious. So, uh, so that's not that wasn't a good that wasn't a good arrangement. You know, you get frustrated. You want to know. And and the other thing is, they they're usually just they don't know how to teach. I mean, Japanese don't know how to explain their shit. You know, <laughs> it's a hard language to explain if you've never thought about it. English too. If you don't know what you're doing, you know, if you don't know what you're teaching, then, uh, then English as well is difficult. Well, let's see. Now I've got to, I don't know if I can do this. I've got to check my bank account. So now, oh, okay, now the other thing that I'll show you while I'm here at the bank is, if you look here, okay, here we go. Now it's, a, well, let me go back one. Well, it says English and Portuguese, right? So I'll just do that in English so you can see. So it's pretty, pretty yes. helpful, see? See? Cardition Japan, oh yeah, yeah see? Uh, balance inquiry. Okay. See, so you can do a lot of the banks here have their English. Uh, so, you know, oops. It's not that difficult, right? Mm -hmm. La 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 la. 
pretty good okay um finish do i need money finish okay just checking the inquiry okay all right so let's get out of here yeah banks are banks are user friendly or english friendly uh, oh yeah, so immersion. Get, go to school, study proper. Even when I got here, I studied by myself. I hired. You're welcome. I studied at a uh, proper. I studied by myself really hardcore for the first year, but I realized that I would have saved a lot of time if I'd gone to a proper Japanese school. What should I do? Go down here. You know. So I, I highly recommend that. Do that. Spend a little extra money, and there are a lot of really, really cheap like. Uh, classes offered by the city as well but the best thing is to find a proper Japanese school because they they have trained teachers there like I said it's hard to teach this language so they can answer your questions better yeah practice as much as possible repeat as much as possible oh and I can't stress this more more uh, is that the proper expression I can't stress this enough please watch lots of TV listen to the radio uh, you know uh, listening is so important and so hard to improve and it's something that you'll feel frustrated whoa that girl's perfume was strong you'll feel very frustrated because you won't feel like you're improving but you are you just need to expose yourself and exercise those ear muscles to listen a lot the third question he asked me is about motorcycles and uh like that that's a scooter that's a 50 cc if you have an international motorcycle driver's license, I believe those work here. Though I'm not, ex I'm not positive about that. You might want to research that. Um, pretty sure they work. I ended up going to Japanese, I mean a Japanese motorcycle school. I think I paid out like this is years ago. I paid about seventy thousand yen, and I got my license. And it, you end up having to take a lot of classes, but it's great Japanese practice. And it, I think I figured it out. It's like a thousand yen an hour, or less than that. So considering what you would pay if you went to a proper Japanese school, like my dorky hat, this is my Holden Caulfield hat. Thanks, Stuart. Stuart sent it to me. Um, yeah, Jap so I, I got my motorcycle license there, here, sorry. And let's check out these sexy mannequins. And whether, when it comes to actually buying a motorcycle, the, there are a lot of, uh, Red, there's a there's a there's a there's a in this area there's a red baron what's for there's a red baron oh there we are a chain of motorcycle stores in this area I'm sure there's other motorcycle chains and all over the uh, all over Japan and the price is a pretty reasonable for used bikes you can get a decent bike for anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars depending on the CC now if you want to go on the highway you need more than 50 cc but the 50 cc's are really cheap you can get a good uh, really good probably one, uh, 50 cc for a hundred thousand if you're going to scoot around the city that's fine if you're going to do a little more serious touring i'd recommend at least 250 if not a 400. for a 400 license 400 cc license you need a bike that has uh that gets the shaken has shaken is a um it's a it's kind of a tax on on motorcycles it's like a well, they, it's it's sold as an upkeep pack. Like they they check it out to make sure it's all it's maintained and everything. They give it a little test, uh, like emissions or something. But it's really just a way to get more money out of people. But it's got to pass the shock in every one or two years. I think depending on the on how old the bike is. I think it might be every two years. And they might, I remember they changed it once a while ago. But but uh, yeah, the the motorcycle shock in is necessary. But if you have a bike that's that's only for bikes that are 400 cc or more, bikes that are two uh, less than that, 250 c 250 cc or 50 cc's, which are just scooters, you don't need to get shotgun. So that's good. Cool. Uh, and yeah, the prices are straightforward. But I'm I've never really I never bought a, a used one. I bought only new ones. And of course, the price is pretty fixed. They throw in this and that. Of course, you want to get insurance and stuff, so that's going to cost more. Yeah, but I, I would imagine you can handle, you can haggle a little bit, a little bit. I mean, I don't know how much. Just haggle, just, you know, yeah, you know, people say you can't haggle, but you can. You can haggle them with almost any expensive thing here in Japan, so there you go. Anyway, that's pretty much it. 
Yeah. That's my question for you, 10 minutes exactly. I'm gonna turn it off now because I go in here and people are starting to look at me funny. So I'm using the Feiyu, the Feiyu uh, thing for my car here. This is the Feiyu uh, stabilizer, gimbal stabilizer. And uh, thanks for watching. If you have questions and I don't answer, keep, uh, keep sending them. Just don't give up. I'm a busy guy. All right. Not super busy, but pretty busy. Right. Okay. Let's see.